your seats. We'll get the official part of the, the evening underway. Unfortunately, uh, the, the microphone system has died, so uh, we're going to have to, those of us who are speaking are going to have to project our voices uh, well. So can you hear us down the back? That's good. If you, if you can't, then you're probably be safe from a boring uh, speech anyway. So. <laughs> So look everyone, good evening and welcome along to the Town Hall tonight for our centenary dinner for Hutt Valley Harriers. This evening's meal is going to be a buffet and uh, we're going to get people to go up uh, table by table when that time comes. However, before we do that, we do have some formalities to get through. So first of all though, a few messages. So we have apologies tonight from uh, Life Member Joe Franklin who thankfully we got to catch up with Joe and Nairi this afternoon. Uh, but their health is just uh, at a point where they, they couldn't join us tonight. Uh, also in that category, Ted Linton and Don Brody, uh, their health has also prevented them from uh, being here as much as they would have liked to. And our other uh, absent life member is Albert Van Veen, who is back over home in, in uh, Holland for the, uh, for the weekend, or for the week. Uh, or, or maybe the rest of the year, who knows. We've also had a, an apology from Mayor Campbell Barry, who couldn't be here due to other commitments. Um, but you know, we can live with that, I'm pretty sure. Um, probably not having politicians is a good thing. Um, we've also had some best wishes passed on uh, from Simon Edwards, uh, who a lot of you will know. Simon, uh, who's currently a councillor here at Hutt City, He's a, he had a great affiliation with Hutt Valley Harriers as editor of the Hutt News. He was a strong supporter of our club, and in particular a key sponsor to our annual fund run, uh, and he, he sponsored that for over 30 years. Uh, Simon unfortunately would have loved to have been with us tonight but he had a prior family commitment which he couldn't get away from. So we'll let him off for that one, that's a good excuse. We've also had uh, letters of uh, good wishes for the, for the weekend and the celebrations from Tim and Judy Johnson uh, who are a couple of formal runners who actually joined our club after uh, winning the men's and the women's uh, 10k at, at a Hut News uh, fun run one year. And they ran with us for a number of years, but have gone back to uh, the States where they now have uh, a, a lovely young family. Now this evening, during the evening, there's going to be three toasts. Um, and we'll uh, introduce those as we get to each of them. The first of those will be straight after our speeches. The second one will be just before we have the main course. And the third toast will be just before dessert. Now aside from running, it's a well-known fact that Harry is like a yarn or two. And tonight is going to be no exception. Already this weekend, I'm sure you've heard some great tales of past road trips and adventures to relays and interclub events. Later on this evening, we're going to hear from uh, two of our um, well-known Hutt Valley Harriers who have had recent international success, Jonathan Wyatt and Nick Willis. And we were very fortunate to have uh, the services uh, of Rhys Buck, uh, who undertook to interview them uh, for us. So uh, thank you, Reese, and Reese will introduce those uh, interviews when we come to that stage of the evening. But right now, it's my pleasure to welcome to the stage Hutt Valley Club President uh, Dave Moore to say a few opening comments for this evening's celebrations. <laughs> thank you, Tony. I, I hope my voice carries as well as his, his did. Um, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My pleasure to, as the club president to welcome you here tonight uh, to celebrate Hutt Valley Harriers 100 years running in the Hutt Valley. 100 years is an incredible achievement for any sports club, and so it's only fitting that tonight we celebrate our proud history and remember those who have founded the trails and streets of the Hutt Valley before us. I would like to acknowledge our guests who have joined us tonight Representing our parent club, Olympic Harriers, is their former club president, Michelle Van Loy, and right partner, Rick. Are they here? I haven't seen them, actually. Yeah. Good. Um, uh, Tom Hurley, who is the son of our co-founder, founder, Tom Hurley. And Reese Buck, who was instrumental in reviewing our guest speakers who were here later on this evening as uh, Tony's just said. This weekend would not be possible without the support of our sponsors. I want to acknowledge McCone Consultancy Limited, 
who are the principal sponsor of our centenary celebrations, as well as CK and So and Co and the Shoe Clinic who are also sponsors of the centenary publication. Representing McCone Consultancy, Tony and Alison McCone. And representing CCO and K and Co is Diane and Stephen Cummings. And representing the Shoe Clinic is the manager of Lower Heart Shoe Clinic, Rob McNeil and his wife, Liz. <laughs> the Shoe Clinic have not only supported this weekend, but they have been long-term sponsors and supporters of the Hutt Valley Harriers. And uh, I, I welcome going there whenever I needed a new pair of shoes, which isn't so often these days, but in the past used to be once a season. And they were very good to me and they're good to Hutt Valley Harriers because they gave us some uh, money and every time someone bought some shoes off them. I would also like to acknowledge those attendees who have travelled from afar to be with us tonight. In particular, former club president Ian Blythe, who has come across from Australia to be with us this weekend, and former members Annette and Ian Purvis, who have travelled up from Christchurch. As mentioned by Tony, we also have our life members here tonight, Rob McGregor, Bruce Curse, Stephen Quirk and Tony McCone. And we have apologies from the life members Joe Franklin, Ted Linton, Don Brody, and Albert Van Veen, who are unable to be with us this evening. Hutt Valley Harriers is a club we should all be proud of. From humble beginnings in 1923, the club has gone on to enjoy success at regional and national level, initiating the Dawn Cup in 1925, that is now an annual fixture on the North Island cross country scene and produced many athletes who have represented New Zealand and international, uh, in international athletic events. Hart Valley Harriers is one of the longest running athletics clubs in Wellington and that it has reached this century is a tribute to all who have worked tirelessly to make the club what it is today. One of the great things about Harrier running is that it caters for all ages. It's not unheard of to have two, maybe three generations of the same family competing in the, in the same event. How many sports can say that? Throughout our history, one thing has always been constant, the welcoming family atmosphere at the club. I hope you have had a chance to experience that welcoming atmosphere this weekend. I digress here to say that I joined the club in 1984 when I came back from overseas and it's been one of the best things that's happened to me um, it, it, specifically in my running career which has gone, it's gone downhill recently but <laughs> earlier on it did, it did, being a member of the club did definitely help me. So finally I would like to thank Hutt Valley Harrier Centenary Committee ably led by Vanessa Trumpeter for the work they've put into planning our centenary celebrations. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> We've come a long way since that meeting in March 1923 when Bill Scratchard, club captain of the Olympic Harriers, chaired a meeting at the Oddfellows Hall in Petoni that established our club, and then that first club run on the 7th of April 1923 to now be celebrating 100 years. So with that, I'll say enjoy your evening, take your stories and together let's kick off in style the start of our next 100 years of running in the Hutt Valley. Thank you. Hi there. It's a real privilege to be here, a club that my father co-founded with Neil Craig. And growing up as a kid, I I've got lots of memories of some crazy of things that went on around the place. And looking at today, I think they're still going on, those crazy <laughs> things. I think it's gotta be a running thing somehow. Um, my dad was never a great runner, and I inherited those same genes. <laughs> I just ran for about three years as a cult, um, and decided that chasing the guy in front, and there was always at least one guy, mostly all of the guys in front of me, 
And I decided to switch to soccer and chase a leather ball around the field. Um, and Dad used to say, come back to running. I'd say, no, I'd rather chase a ball than the guy in front. Um, later on, I got back to running um, with the Hutt Valley Presbyterian, as it was then, um, then changed to uh, change its name to Rumataka Harriers. Um, I still wasn't any better, but clubs rely on, sure, the elite athletes, but the heart of a club is in the also rings, and uh, I see lots of you out there tonight. <laughs> I can relate well to you. One incident that I recall as a kid was a novelty race. Now, I've got no way of no knowing or finding out what it was all about, but I know it was run at Nine Eye, and the Harriers had to go to different houses and pick up something. And I have a memory of one person wearing a little enamel child's potty that was tied on a bit of string and around their neck. And they had to run around the street with this potty on. I don't know if you do those things these days, do you? <laughs> you, just go, you just go potty instead. Yeah. Um, yeah, great memories with the club. I want to say thank you very much for whoever's produced that book. I haven't got through all of it yet, but there's, it's triggered memories for me in lots of areas there, and that's really brilliant. So thank you very much for that. Um, Neil Craig's family, I can't speak too much on his side of things. I recall meeting Neil on a number of occasions, um, but um, yeah, unfortunately his family couldn't be here tonight. Um, is there anyone here who remembers Mick Peterson? Right, well, Mick was in fact my uncle, um, so we had, the Hurley family had a couple of links into the, uh, the Hutt Valley Harrier Club. Um, I'd like to just say again, thank you for letting me come along. Um, I've enjoyed meeting, refreshing some of those old memories, um, and uh, yeah, it's good. On for the next hundred years. <laughs> We are going to get you to dinner very shortly, uh, but uh, thank you Dave and thank you Lance, uh, that's was, was great to hear those stories so uh, Lance. Uh, now, now of course, uh, as we said, a, a weekend like this or any celebration doesn't happen by itself, it requires some people to come together to, to make the event uh, arise out of nothing. So this week's celebration has been brought together by a small subcommittee of Harriers, so uh, let's give a warm round of applause to their chair, the le their leader, Vanessa Trumpeter, to come to the stage. Um, I'm the accidental chair of the Centenary Committee, but um, it's been a really great, great fun putting this all together. Um, your committee's been meeting monthly um, for about a year now, and lately fortnightly, and it's been a lot of, a lot of work. Um, we spent a lot of time in the depths of the container out the back of the club, um, in, the, in the cobwebs and the dust and out there, mainly one of us, that's Mark, um, dragging out all the old memorabilia and the, um, the old booklets and digging out these, these gems. Um, we found a lot of gems and we've had a lot of fun stories. Um, a lot of hours were spent poring over all the photos uh, and the booklets and reading the little anecdotes from, from over the years. Um, so I'd like to just thank our committee and introduce them to you. We've got um, Bill Trompeter, uh, Stephen Cummings, Mark Grocott, Rebecca Reed, Brendan and Steve Quirk, and not to forget Simon England, our um, editor, our, and so much more of our great booklet that you've all got a copy of. Um, yeah. And not to forget Tony, our MC for the evening and for the whole weekend, um, Stu, our photographer, and Nicole Swain, who is our designer of our, um, our new logo, and the banner, and <coughs> um, the emblem on the singlets. She's done a lot of work behind the scenes too. Yeah, she's not here today, but she was there at the club this afternoon. Yeah. So thanks everyone. Um, it's great to celebrate 100 years, 100 years running, but a 
a running club is not just about running. It's about being part of a club and being part of a team. And it's about the camaraderie and the competition and also cheering on the competition. Um, and it's, all, it's about being together and it's about the people. And not to forget, it's also about making um, lifelong friends, which for me is a big thing of being part of this running club. So I'm really looking forward to the future of Hutt Valley Harriers and I'm so proud to celebrate 100 years. Official part of the evening, and you can carry on socialising. Um, the bar is going to be open till about half past nine. They need to give us half an hour to finish up our drinks. So we get a. Um, if you want to get another drink, get it before half past nine. So you've still got a bit of time to do that. But uh, so first of all, I just want to say, look, thanks for coming along. We've now come to the end of our centenary dinner, but it's not quite the end to our centenary celebrations. Tomorrow, between 12 and noon, we have a complimentary barbecue. Oh, it's not 12, 12 noon. So, uh, Fred, Fred put me off because he didn't want to go home last night. So, uh, Between 12 noon and 2, I should say, we have a complimentary barbecue lunch for you at the club rooms back in Udi Street. So there will be some lo uh, lot of refreshments there for a modest price. So if you want some cold coffee and tea, um, there will be a small charge for that. But if you want the hot coffee and tea, that will be free. Um, the food won't cost you anything. That's uh, been put on by the club. And we hope to see as many of you there as possible. Uh, so just a good way to, to wrap up and uh, can, you know, carry on a few of the conversations we've been having this weekend. But before we finish, uh, there are a few acknowledgements and a few thank yous to hand out. Uh, and I know she's not here tonight, but I'm going to say it again. Uh, it's a big thank you to Nicole Swain, who designed um, our logos. So that's one of the versions. And, the, the banner down the, the front there, and also the new singlets, which some of you will have seen as, uh, some of the club members wearing this afternoon. So uh, she was responsible for that design, so uh, we really appreciate what she's done for us there. Also, a big thank you to all those who contributed articles and photos for the centenary book. And in particular, big thanks goes out to Simon England for his editorial prowess in bringing a, an eclectic range of articles together for the publication. That is a great publication. So thank you, Simon. <laughs> also, a big uh, shout out to Rebecca Reid for all the behind the scenes work she did on promoting this, uh, promoting this event on social media and radio. Rebecca even cons me uh, into doing an hour on the Hub FM. I got this email saying, Tony, are you available on Saturday because we've booked you in? <laughs> you have been booked in, not would you like to, but never mind. It was fun. The, the guy who was uh, interviewing me, I, I worked with him about a decade ago uh, in a former life, so uh, I managed to catch up between him, uh, with him on the ad breaks. But, uh, so thank you for, for, for doing that, uh, Rebecca, I think. Um, also, again, a, a huge thanks to Reese Spuck for pulling together two fantastic interviews which we saw earlier tonight with Jono and Nick and uh, we'll make them available um, on the website somehow. Um, we might even put the blooper bit up there, um, um, just to embarrass you a wee bit there, Reese, when you lost your <laughs> line of thought. Uh, but we really do appreciate you taking your time out to do that. But it's not easy to coordinate uh, interviews with uh, someone who's in Italy and someone who's uh, in the middle of uh, the States. Uh, you know, it's a time difference, but you did a great job. Um, and. Uh, 
I don't want to embarrass you, but Nick thought he had, uh, Reece thought he had another week to do it and, until we contacted him this week. He said, no, no, it's, it's this weekend we need them for. Uh, but to his credit, he managed to, to pull through for us and get the, uh, the interviews done. So thank you very much again, Reese. And I know uh, Vanessa has already mentioned the, uh, the, the, her fellow committee members, but let's put our hands together again for the, the organiser committee. Rebecca Reid, Stephen Brendan Quirk, Simon England, Mark Brocott, Bill and Vanessa Trumpeter. <laughs> and I'd like to call Vanessa forward, please, if she could come up the stage to accept a small token of appreciation from Hutt Valley Harriers for the work she did in leading the subcommittee. So Vanessa, if you could come up the stage. And finally, to each and every one of you, thank you for coming along tonight. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's uh, dinner and the, the, the conversations which you've had. I hope you've enjoyed this afternoon and, and last night. And more importantly, I hope you'll come along tomorrow uh, between 12 noon and 2 o'clock uh, to uh, carry on the conversations uh, with a complimentary barbecue. So I've been Tony McCone. It's been great to be at BMC tonight. Enjoy the rest of the evening and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.